Hey there everyone, this is Joe in general, your resident reason and evidence enthusiast. It is Saturday the 10th of June 2017, and today I'm finally sharing with you the exponential Fibonacci calculation spreadsheet that you see me using in a number of my cryptocurrency analysis videos. Now, of course, if you're not familiar yet with Fibonacci, uh, I would suggest that you please go away and do your own research on that before you continue with this video. Um, now, I've had a number of requests earlier on um, for me to email people uh, this particular spreadsheet, and I was doing that initially, but then I got so many more inquiries, I thought, look, it's much easier to make a video like this and to make it really easy on everyone, just provide a link to download my actual file and then I can just give you a quick tutorial on how to use it. So that's what this video is. So the download link um, will be provided in two places as uh, a pinned comment uh, in the YouTube page and also obviously in the info section of the YouTube page as well. It'll be pretty easy to find. So I want you to go away right now, uh, hit the pause button, download the, uh, the Excel spreadsheet and come back to me when you're ready. Okay, so hopefully now that link worked and you have the exponential Fibonacci calculation spreadsheet right in front of you. If the link didn't work for whatever reason, please let me know via a comment and I'll see what's going on. Could be a bandwidth issue, could be in 20 billion years from now you're watching this and we're all long dead. Uh, but for whatever reason, just let me know and I'll do my best to try and fix that issue. Um, now, I need to give a quick uh, mention to a couple of things before we move on. So what I might do is I'll put a link to the time code uh, to the start of the tutorial because I do have to mention a couple of things uh, previous. So I'll do that now. Again, I'll put a link to the time code to the start of the tutorial. But first off, I just wanted to say thank you very much to the new subscribers that have come on board since my video, uh, my weekly Wednesday Bitcoin price analysis video from two days ago. Well, it's actually three days ago now. Uh, and I've had 115 new subscribers since then. So thank you very much. Um, I would like to invite you to have a look at not only my cryptocurrency analysis stuff, but all the other stuff that I've been doing previously. Um, I've had my channel for a very long time. Um, you'll see the very start of it's like uh, me singing songs. I'm actually a musician. I'm a singer. Uh, then I started getting into, um, you know, different stuff. Uh, you could call me sort of more right leaning politically than left leaning. Definitely not left leaning. Um, on most things. Um, I upload videos to do with other people that I follow, like Scott Adams, um, sometimes Stefan Molyneux excerpts. I talk about current events as well. Uh, and I do reviews on products. And I also am a sports shooter. So I actually uh, attend sports shooting competitions. I own a firearm, a handgun, and I do that competition and I upload my the footage of me doing that. That's uh, whenever I do a competition. The next one's actually in a couple of weeks. So that'll be coming very soon. So um, uh, stick around for that one and other types of videos as well. So I just want to make, put, you know, um, uh, put your attention to that as well. So thank you again to those new subscribers. Um, nextly, I wanted to give a shout out, a big, big shout out to Derek over at Money Charts. Now, Derek uh, is someone who I've been subscribing to for a number of years. Actually, he does a, he used to do a lot of analysis and still does on precious metals, so gold and silver. And more recently, though, he's been doing the cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Now, Derek was actually the one um, who suggested to me via commenting, we started commenting back and forth. Once I started doing analysis, he started seeing my videos. He was commenting on, commenting on mine. I was commenting on his. And he was suggesting that, hey, have a look at exponential Fibonacci calculation versus linear Fibonacci calculation. You may find it's a even better prediction tool for key resistance and support levels within a chart. So I started doing that. So he actually has a calculator himself. Uh, it's, actually, it's a bit more automatic than my one, but um, the program that he provided the link to, it doesn't work uh, on my Mac because I run a Mac. Um, it, it could, but it was a whole bunch of plugins that I needed to do and it was getting a little bit laborious for me personally. So that's why I thought, look, I'll just make a spreadsheet and use the same formula that Derek provided uh, and then just do a spreadsheet. And that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. But I want to give a big shout out to Derek uh, for introducing me, first of all, to exponential Fibonacci calculation. Um, and 
thirdly, um, when you hit that download don't download link um, uh, button, when you found that link right underneath, you may have seen a Bitcoin wallet address. Now I'm a voluntarist and I don't believe in forcing anyone forcing anyone to pay for anything. If you find value in what I do uh, and you feel like sending some um, little bits of Bitcoin, some uh, you know a number of Satoshi my way, uh, I would, of course, welcome that. But I only want you to do it if you do find value in what I do. Um, you can, can, of course, you know, watch my videos and never have to send me anything. That's completely fine. I'll never force you to do anything. But if you do find value and you do feel like donating um, to that Bitcoin wallet address, I will, of course, accept it. And particularly because I'm sharing this tool here, which may help you in the future. So there's that Bitcoin wallet address. And uh, lastly, I just wanted to say about the exponential Fibonacci calculation. For me, I, I will still say that it's in beta test mode. And, and of course, you guys are smart enough to realize that, you know, one particular um, analyzing technique is not the be all and end all. You know, it's not going to be the most 100% perfect predictor I, because if it was, we'd all be, you know, quadrillionaires and right, we, we, we'd, we'd be very, very rich people. So um, understand that uh, it is just a tool. And of course, you've got to take into uh, psychology into play. And there's many other factors when looking at a chart. Um, so I am beta testing exponential Fibonacci calculation versus linear calculation. I um, haven't made my mind up 100% yet, which is the better one. Exponential is looking very good at the moment, but I still, I'm a resident, a, a, um, a resident, I'm a, a reason and evidence enthusiast. So I like to gather my information before making a solid decision either way. So I just wanted to put that uh, caveat out there as well. Okay, finally, we're on to the tutorial. Thanks for sticking around. Very easy stuff here. So all it is, is um, you, I need you to, you, when you pick your, key high and key low, um, you input it in here. So uh, this is the key high and the key low here. And then all this is this cell number here is just the division from uh, is that by that. So just leave that. You don't have to change that calculation at all. It will automatically calculate. And over here is the main thing that you need to play around with. Now it's not as automatic as say with Derek's calculator, you just need to input some things every time. So over here in this cell is where the main formula is. Now you can start by, if you go up here to the top where my cursor is, you'll see be able to input it up there, but then it actually comes up down here. So you can just do it down, down here, it's easier to see. So the first, the two numbers you need to change every time is uh, the number here after the bracket and before the uh, power of symbol, before the um, uh, the upward pointing, well, you can't really, the arrow, um, before there, and that's this number here, this divide number. So, uh, and this next one here, that number here is the low, because that's what the formula is. It's high divided by the low to the power of whichever Fibonacci you're choosing, times the low. Now if we, let's take a key high and a key low um, from the Bitcoin chart recently, and we'll take this one here, which is 27, 60 and 10 cents and the low of 1850. And let's put that in. Again, this is really easy stuff. Uh, so 2760 and 10 cents, then pop in your low of 1850. And then that's automatically calculated. Head over here to this cell here and start putting it in the top here. You can continue to put it in the top here or you can change it down to here if you if that's easier to see, but I just do it up here. Um, so you wanna put in that divide number, that's the one right here. Now I've done it to eight decimal places because Bitcoin is in eight decimal places and I just, I'm a bit pedantic and I like to, to do it exact. So 4919459 and just arrow over to this number here. Actually, I'll do it down here so you can see it even better. And that's the low, remember? So high divided by the low to the power of fib times the low. So the low in this case is 1850. And that's your formula, that's it. Um, and then hit enter, and then you'll get the number and that corresponds to this calculation. Now we just need to do the same for all these and really easy, uh, if you're very familiar with Excel, all you do is you put your cursor in the very bottom right hand spot here and wait till it turns into the black cross. Not the not the hand, not the, the white cross, the black cross and then click and hold and then just drag it down 
and then let go and you're done dead easy stuff so here is um the exponential Fibonacci calculation. So it's calculating first. You'll notice actually the high I've set in the middle here, and then it goes down to the lows and that goes up. I should have done it the other way, but look, I'm not gonna muck around with it now. So you guys can get it, it's pretty easy. And this is your upside Fibonacci calculation. So for example, um, your two main key Fibonacci levels are usually the 61.8 and the 38.2. So let's see where they correspond on that uh, bitcoinwisdom.com chart. So let's take the 38.2 of 2155. And I'll put that there and I'll do the free. So let's look for 2155 and that is about there. That's close. So as you can see, let's let's go a little bit of a hit there and let's quickly put in the next one, which is the 61.8, which is 2369. Dude, uh, 23, it's 24. Yeah, we're there, we're there, we're there. That's close enough, right there. Okay, so let's punch in a little bit further in, maybe the one hour time frame, and see how that turned out. Uh, so as you can see, a couple of hits there, uh, if I move back, you can see that uh, 38.2 uh, from the low that is. Uh, technically, if you're coming from the high, that would be the 61.8 retracement, uh, but we just I'm just calling that 38.2 and that the 61.8 because it's coming up from there. Um, but you can interchange those numbers if you like. But anyway, you've got a hit here, um, right here as a support level, key support level there. So that seems pretty pretty good to me. And also, it didn't quite reach it, but if you check it out just here, that's the 2369, and it did come up here and almost test that. Not quite, but it's, I would call that close enough for jazz. And if you if we punch over here, you'll see that the, here we are right here. Once it broke through that 61.8, it come back down, it sort of played around, and then it started testing that line there a couple of times at 61.8 level and even came back and tested exactly here. So again, exponential Fibonacci, like everything else, it's not an exact science. You're not gonna, it's not gonna be perfect, otherwise we'd all be quizillionaires. Um, but it, it does okay, particularly for the main ones like your 38.2 and your 61.8. And the other key one, is this 1.618 level. And that's your main um, upside target if it breaks through that high that you've put in here. So for example, 2760, if it's gonna break through, where might be the next level where, where it hits and then has a sort of major resistance point? Um, if it has a major retracement down or it takes a while to break through. Um, so if I put this on the max setting, hopefully will that let me Yes, it will. And that number here was uh, 3534. So I'll put that on here. 3522, 3538, that's close enough. So that, according to between the high, this highs and lows that we put in, the 2760 and 1850, that would be the 1.618 level of 35, 34, I think it was. Now, in my weekly Wednesday Bitcoin price analysis in the last couple of weeks, I've actually been talking about a different number, a different 1.618. Uh, that's because I've chosen a different high and low for the exponential Fibonacci calculation. And that was, uh, and it is, uh, this very old high of 1163 and this major low, so a major high and low. And when I inputted that, uh, those numbers into here, I obviously got a different set of numbers, but the 1.618 level I got was at 4,083, which is up here roughly. So I've chosen, again, so it's not an exact science. You've got to, um, you know, it depends on the highs and lows that you're choosing as well. So it's not always going to be, you know, exact. Some people will have differing opinions on which high and low to do the calculation from, but I've chosen the big old high of 11.63, the low of 152.40. And that's where I have a feeling, it might not have a feeling, sorry, based on reason and evidence or based on that calculation, that's where I think the price may be heading to uh, as its next sort of key resistance level. And, you know, at these kind of higher prices, you can call it between 4,000 to 4,100, maybe even a little bit of an overshoot. And when you look at, this is on a logarithmic chart, even a tiny overshoot over here 
puts the price up quite a lot. So even a little bit of an overshoot could take it to like 4,400, but just that 4,083 was the actual number uh, inputted in the calculation. So that's uh, the exponential Fibonacci calculation. Again, just rewind, rewind. What are we, what are we on? We're on videotape, VHS. You young kids don't know what VHS is. Um, just um, go back and uh, have a look uh, at what I did just before rather than me repeat it again. But the last thing I need to show you is, uh, this is the exponential for uh, key uh, support levels and upside targets. And if you scroll down, hiding out of the way is your downside exponential calculation. And what this is doing, it's giving potential downside targets if it breaks through uh, the key low. So for example, let me get rid of that. Uh, about there is good, excuse me for a second. There we go, so there's that high of uh, 2760 and a low of 1850. Now, if the price started to, if it didn't go up here and it was breaking down here and then it broke through this 2000 level and then it was breaking down here and you thought, oh no, where's it gonna go to? Well, of course you can use, you know, um, uh, technical analysis, um, other other means. I mean, you could look at you know previous old highs for um, resistance levels. Um, you could look at psychological numbers, but you could also look at downside Fibonacci um, analysis. And all you do is the exact same thing. And I just imp I inputted. I left it from before. You just the exact same thing. The high and the the same high and the same low gives you the same number. It's just that the formula is a little bit different and I'm not gonna go through it. All you need to do, all you need to remember though, is again, only change that number there, which is the divide number. And instead of inputting the low here, you're inputting the high instead. So that's the only difference. Don't input the low as that number, input the high. Um, and don't change any of these, don't leave, don't change the one, don't change those, don't change the brackets, don't change anything else, just this and this number here, and that will give you downside, potential downside targets if it does break through that key low. A lot of the time you probably won't have to use this, it's quite rare I'd say that you'd have to ever use this downside calculation, but it's there for you just in case. So that's it. I hope you find this useful. If you do find value in it and you do find value in what I do in general, please um, you know, feel free to send me some Bitcoin to that Bitcoin wallet address I have mentioned uh, in the info section and the pinned comment. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you're not subscribing yet, um, I want you to hit that like and subscribe button. Also, um, once more, a big shout out to Derek over at Money Charts. Um, feel free and please send him some Bitcoin as well. He uh, always puts a um, some wallet addresses in his videos because he does some excellent analysis too. So um, head over to Money Charts and subscribe to Derek as well. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, stay informed, speak soon.